We already have a nice tutorial series about making containers in Router OS, so in this video I will not go into every detail on how to run your own container image. Instead, I will simply give you another interesting use case on what you can run in your Mikrotik router. So this is from a real life situation, in fact I just set it up myself. I have a home network behind my HAP AX2 router. One of the LAN devices is a NAS server. This NAS server hosts web pages and other services, so it needs to be accessible uh, with HTTPS from the internet. Now the drawback of this is that the NAS software itself becomes a target for all kinds of attackers. Or maybe I don't want my home IP to be visible to the internet at all. I want to completely hide my real IP, but still I want to host some web services. There are many ways you can protect your devices, uh, like in this situation. For example, change the Synology access port to something obscure, and then block access to the port uh, for anyone outside the LAN. That is the most common way to do this, but you will still be exposing your IP. In my specific situation, I wanted the port to remain SSL 443, so I went with a different approach, using a nice service offered by Cloudflare. Formerly called Argo, now it's uh, called simply Cloudflare Tunnel, and it is available for free under the Cloudflare Zero Trust family of products. There are many things you can do, and it's quite powerful, but I will concentrate on only one feature here. What it does, it runs a small program in your server, or in my case on my router, which then creates a tunnel to Cloudflare. In Cloudflare, it will set up a DNS record for your chosen service, such as HTTPS in my case, and then it will forward any requests to the specific, uh, specific DNS uh, name to your LAN IP address in your network, through the secure tunnel. In fact, you could actually block all incoming connections from the outside world and only provide your services through the Cloudflare tunnel. The benefit of this would be the ability to further protect your service with other Cloudflare services, such as their excellent DDoS protection, bot protection, or zero access portal, which basically puts an additional login page on any URL you specify in your settings. Another thing is that you don't need a public IP at all. Anyway, this is not an advertisement for Cloudflare, so let's move on to configuration. Alright, let's talk about requirements. You must be registered on Cloudflare and your DNS name should already be managed by Cloudflare. Uh, it must be also able to create A records for you and, well, you must be somewhat familiar with how to use Cloudflare, that would be beneficial too. Also, this assumes you already know how to set up containers in Mikrotik. So, go watch our container video series first. So, let's go to the Cloudflare side. Go to Zero Trust Dashboard and under Access, make a new tunnel. Provide some name and you will get your access token. Click Next. Now you should provide a new public subdomain for your service. If the subdomain already exists in your normal Cloudflare uh, DNS dashboard, you should first delete it there, uh, because um, in, the, in the tunnel section it will actually create a new DNS name, uh, so it, it, it can't be an existing one. So first uh, delete it from there and go back to the tunnel settings and add it again. So in my case it will be nas.example.com. In the service section I will choose HTTPS as the service and the URL will be 192.168.88.100 which is my NAS server IP in my local area network. What I'll also do is turn off TLS verification so that there are no certificate errors between the uh, NAS server and the router because, uh, well, my, my NAS server only has an IP address and there is no uh, DNS in my local network. So let's go to TLS and uh, no TLS verify. Now moving on to Mikrotik side of things. I will not be using a separate bridge for the container. I will make a new VETH interface and I will actually give it an IP address from my local network. 192.168.88.123/24 and the gateway is my router 192.168.88.1. Now, if you watched our previous videos about containers, uh, just a reminder, you must be sure you have enabled container mode in your device mode menu and that you also have provided a container registry address in the container menu. So in the container menu, just click on config, there is the registry URL, registry1.docker.io. Let's click add and specify the container remote image, then choose the newly created VETH interface. And from your Cloudflare dashboard, 
copy the provided run parameters in the CMD field. Now you can start the container. If you see that the container is running, you can now check the Cloudflare tunnel status. If it shows healthy, it means it's working and you can now use the nas.example.com address and be safely forwarded to your NAS device login screen. The benefit is that your IP is not exposed to the internet at all and nobody can know your actual IP address. Like I said previously, you don't even need a public IP address since the connections are going through a tunnel, which can be made even from private IPs. There are many more powerful use cases for this, but that's not the point of this video. Anyway, I hope this helps you get started and thanks for watching.